Hey guys, welcome to the shop. Today, I'm working on scraping in the compound slide on the lathe. It's, I've been having some chatter issues and I figure scraping it might help because I'm probably not gonna make it worse. If this doesn't work, all I need to do is surface grind a couple thou off, maybe even one, because I'm taking off so little at a time. So, hope you like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think, and I'll try to explain the process as best I can. Now, I'm using the wrong scraper for this. I really should be using a narrower one. I just don't have another carbide scraper. But I'm trying to take off the blue. And on this pass, I think all I'm going to do is just break up the high spots. I'm not even going to try and take all of it off because it's just the juice isn't worth the squeeze right now but when I started I had blue barely here on three of the corners and you can see I'm starting to get blue over here which is good so this is just really trial and error but this is more precise than grinding so what I just do is I have an acetone rag because I don't want phantom blue interfering with when I hit this on the surface plate. And just run your finger over it, feel for any burrs. This is cast iron, so it does. I haven't really noticed it burr. It kind of just fragments, which is great. It makes life easier because you aren't forced to stone between every single application. Now over here, this is my surface plate, which is a flat reference surface. So this is flat to a couple, couple tenths over the surface, but you slide it on. I like to spin it because this helps average out any errors in the plate. See, we got a little more blue on it. It's easier if I look through the lens. So it's really just trial and error, trial and error. And I find this to be quite relaxing. This is a nice break from some of the hot, faster paced, high energy stuff I've been doing. You know, it's just take your time, don't rush because you can always take more material off. Then you can tell I'm not very good at scraping. This isn't something I do a whole lot. So, my technique leaves a lot of room for improvement. Now the goal here, and I'm going to stop just because, again, I'm an amateur. I have other things to do. This machine isn't making money while it's shut down like this. I just want to see blue to here on all four corners. You know, if I can get spots over 50% of the surface, I'll be a happy camper. That's all you I really need because this is not a top dollar lathe. It's not a top dollar machine. I'm not scraping the cross slide, just the compounds because as far as I can tell, my flex is almost exclusively in the compounds. And the cross slide doesn't rock, so I'm just going to blue this up again off camera. So see, our contact pattern just moves a little bit every time. And I took too much off here, so you see how little contact we have. I think what I'm going to do is just pass through that and not take all of it off.
You know, just take our time. So as you can see, I mean, this is a small area, which makes it, I think this is a reasonable starter project. I mean, I, I've done this probably three or four times in my life, but this is small enough. If it goes sideways, I can grind it. Um, I would prefer to just do it this way because this is the least invasive and I can correct mistakes. With grinding, I can't afford to make mistakes. So, you know, I hope you guys found this a little bit informative. This is just one technique for getting very flat surfaces. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed.